We're here on the eve of the launch of M33 with the Director General of the National Museum of the Royal Navy, Dominic Tweddle. Um, how does M33 fit in with the wider vision for the National Museum? Well, what we're trying to do with all our museums is to tell the whole story of the Royal Navy from its very beginnings, whenever you think they were, right up to the present day. But just at the moment, what we want to do is to focus on the First World War because for five years we've got the opportunity to put our full attention onto that. And part of that is to collect and open ships which were associated with the First World War. So we're commemorating tomorrow, we're looking back over the last year and what we've achieved with the ship, but looking forward, what else can we expect with the Great War at Sea centenary? Well, you'd think it would be a great sigh of relief having M33 open and the public, we hope, loving her and she's wonderful. But we've got to go straight on to our next ship, which is HMS Caroline. She's a light cruiser which fought at the Battle of Jutland. And she will open on the 31st of May 2016, the centenary of the battle. So we've got a lot on. So Dominic, what's your personal highlight of M33? What gets it for me is the way the ship has come to life. You have the sounds and sights and some of the smells of a ship which is actually in service, in action, at Gallipoli. And that really is something unique and special. So a busy year ahead? Re yes, really busy year ahead. Lots to do. Jutland coming up, big exhibition here in the dockyard, HMS Caroline opening, things happening in Hartlepool after that. We are a new museum, only five years old, but we're in a hurry.